I mean, y'all can pay upwards of $3,000 for subpar quality, but your girl is going to get a deal. Always. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a luxury review on none other than my favorite piece of Louis Vuitton luggage in my entire collection, none other than the Keep Off 50B for Bandolier. We're gonna get into everything about this bag, history, how I carry it, if I think it's worth it, the pros and the cons, how I purchased mine, how I saved 50% and all that jazz, and of course, some mod shots. If you guys would like to see my opinion on this duffel bag and know whether I think it's worth it or not, then please keep watching. Okay, so I did want to start this review off by showing you guys how I store this bag because it is a duffel bag, it is large, it is cumbersome. I wouldn't necessarily say this is the best way to store it, but I'm always honest, and this is how I store it in my closet. I fold it down so that it looks like this and I do that by simply removing everything from the duffel unzipping it and folding the sides into one another so that it looks like this once again I am not saying this is the proper way to store your duffel bag but I don't have space. I have a bag collection with almost 50 bags and I don't have much space for things. When I'm not storing it flat, because that's not optimal for long-term storage, I do just stuff it in a closet, but I will put a pillow inside just so that I don't mess up the integrity of the bag. You can store it both ways, do what works best for you, but storing it with a pillow in this shape is probably more preferred. This is a rather large bag. This is what she looks like. She almost takes up the entire screen. I just wanna show you guys a once over. This is one of Louis Vuitton's most coveted travel pieces. It is my favorite that I have in my collection. I also do have other designer luggage pieces, but this is the most sensible piece that works really well in my collection. I did purchase this bag almost two years ago during the pandemic, and we will get to that in a moment. But first I wanna talk a little bit about the history because I'm a nerd and I love knowing the history of the things that I love. So the Louis Vuitton Keep All 50 is made in coated canvas with natural cowhide leather trimming, which most of you all probably know as the Vachetta leather. This is not a leather bag. I know a lot of people think that Louis Vuitton monogram is leather. This is in fact coated canvas. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. While it does have natural cowhide leather trimmings, it is coated canvas, okay? <laughs> so it also has brass pieces, a double zippered hardware with a lock, and it comes with a luggage tag that is included. Now I have mine removed for the purposes of this video, but it does come with one, which you can also get hot stamp, which is a great idea because you can personalize your luggage. Now this bag is also lined in canvas, so it is not a leather lined bag, and thank goodness because it would be way too heavy. So you don't have any interior your pockets it's very basic inside if you're looking for something that is made for organization and storage that's super super functional this is probably not going to be best for you this is for the person who loves Louis Vuitton who wants a classic iconic piece and doesn't want any frills this is also a cabin size bag so I have the size 50 not the largest you can carry on board but this is cabin size friendly it has a strap drop of 14.2 to 19.7 inches and the strap is all leather with brass hardware and it also has this piece that's supposed to make it a lot more comfortable and we'll get into that in a moment as well. The dimensions of this bag are 50 centimeters by 29 by 22 or 21.7 inches by 12.2 by 9.4. So Louis Vuitton introduced this bag in 1930 to be a light, flexible, and easy travel piece because Louis Vuitton is known for having trunks, but this was something that was a lot more lightweight and great for everyday use. Available in four sizes, you have the Keep All 45, 50, 55, and 60. Now, the 60 can be used to travel on an airplane, but it has to be checked. That might differ based upon whether or not you're flying domestic or internationally, but I really don't think I would take this for international travel. I don't think I would. <laughs> so the numbers of the keep all will indicate the size of the bag. So because this is a keep all 50B, you can find out which size you have by looking under one of the tabs on the side. And I'll put a close up view of this, but right under here, this little piece of leather, it has a 50. So without knowing what size your bag is off the top of your head, maybe you're out and someone has a question, you can always look there and find it. This bag is also available in a couple different canvases and leather varieties. 
varieties. It's often included in their limited edition collection, but for the regular Louis Vuitton pieces that are always available, it comes in the signature Louis Vuitton monogram coated canvas, Damier Abin, and also Damier, there's like a men's version. I'm not sure of the name, but it comes in various prints. So there's literally a style keep off for everyone. They also have varieties that do not have the light handles, which I know is a deterrent to some people, but I chose this style because the majority of pieces that I have in my Louis Vuitton collection are monogram. I wouldn't say that monogram is necessarily my favorite now, but you can't deny that this is iconic. So I would always choose at least one piece that's monogram, but I think the other varieties are really cool. So now let's get into the price I did purchase this piece pre-owned about two years ago from my personal opinion I would never purchase this bag brand new for a couple of reasons the first reason is this leather is not treated it is genuine cowhide leather so it will darken over time when I get my pieces brand new from Louis Vuitton they're so light that I don't want to mess them up and with a travel piece such as this I would like to know that I don't really have to be picky about it I don't have to baby my bag I also decided to purchase it pre-owned because I got an amazing deal so I will put the price that I paid across the screen but I want to say with tax I got this bag for like $850 and at the time I believe it was retailing for $1,700 now currently this bag retails for $2,570 which I think is a lot of money once again because this is a coated canvas bag now while there is genuine leather on it it's not plentiful. The majority of this bag is coated canvas. I don't think I could see myself paying that much. Had this been an all leather duffel, I might pay upwards of 3000 but not for coated canvas. Another With some of the newer Louis Vuitton items, I've noticed that the brass on the bag there's like differences in texture and shininess. Sometimes they will mix a shiny finish with a dull finish and that just makes my OCD go crazy. If you're not bothered by that, I would say buy brand new. Another reason why I like pre-owned for things like this is because this is, this is not up for debate. This is a fact. I have been purchasing Louis Vuitton for decades. The older model canvas is a lot thicker and the brass is a lot more high quality. Now that's not to say that the Louis Vuitton that's being put out now is like horrible quality, but it is subpar in comparison. I do want to tell you guys what year this duffel was made in and that can be found on the inside flap of the bag. So my date code says FL0011. So this was made in 2001. Okay. This bag is 21 years old. Now I would have to say, being that old, it is in fabulous condition. Now it does feature some signs of wear. I do have a few watermarks on one of these leather pieces over here. I also do have some cracking on the straps on this side and on this side. But if you didn't know, you can always give your pieces kind of like a rehab. You can send this off to Louis Vuitton and get all the leather replaced. So if you find a really nice keep all online, wherever you find it if it's authentic you can take it to the Louis Vuitton store and for a cost of course they will replace all your leather so it's a no-brainer I basically got this bag over half off I purchased this bag from eBay now I know I know I know a lot of people would never do that if you're not accustomed to buying pre-owned on eBay I would probably steer away from it but like I said I've been purchasing Louis Vuitton for decades I also purchased this from a Japanese seller now that is not to say that every Japanese seller only sells authentic items but you do your vetting you make sure to get your pieces authenticated I did get this authenticated and everything checked out fine with this bag I love it it is a great piece but Let's get to the pros and the cons. <sighs> Let's start with pros first. It's a beautiful piece. It's beautiful, it's iconic, it's classic, it's stylish, I love it. Um, that's probably about it. It's a nice bag. The cons would be, it is heavy. It is heavy as hell. Now you're probably thinking, oh, but it doesn't look that heavy, and honestly, it's not too heavy 
when it's not packed. But when you pack this bag, it is super duper heavy. That's another reason why I went for the keep all in the size 50, which as you can see is not a super large bag, but everyone always talks about how heavy this bag can get. And that's another thing I want to know. This bag used to be sold without the shoulder strap. Currently online, I cannot find this bag without the bandolier strap, but I would never purchase it without the shoulder strap. I can't see myself using this like to fly somewhere. I would have to have someone else carry it for me. And for airplane travel, I like to have totes or backpacks. So for that reason alone, this is more of like an everyday bag. If I'm going somewhere for a day, spending the night somewhere, if I'm taking a road trip, going to a photo shoot, I will take this bag. This bag is heavy as hell. Love it, but it's heavy. Now, speaking of airplane travel, I probably wouldn't bring this bag unless I were flying first class. I know, I know. Reason being, you might have to put this bag in the overhead bin. And I don't know about you guys, people sitting next to you will come by while you're in your seat and move items around. I don't want my pieces being mistreated, but if you're flying first class, they can always put this in the closet for you. So that's probably the only way I would really travel on an airplane with this bag. But overall, I'm using it for car trips. Another con is the shoulder strap. And I know what you're thinking. Well, there's this rubber piece that's supposed to be comfortable. I don't know what it is about this, but every time I use this bag and I have on a tank top, it leaves a red mark on my shoulder. And I will actually insert a picture from the last photo shoot I went on when I carried this bag. I had like a bruise for a few days. I'm not saying this is super uncomfortable, but you don't wanna have this directly on your skin. And it's just a testament to how heavy this bag is, but I do like it. So overall, my cons definitely outweigh my pros, but you just have to keep in mind how you want to use this bag. For me, this is a larger everyday bag, something that I'm using when I'm gonna be out all day and I need to take a lot of things, but I don't necessarily use it too much for travel. The big question, do I think this bag is worth it? Absolutely. If you can get this bag for a great price or if you don't mind spending upwards of $3,000 for a bag, that might not be the best quality in comparison to something two decades ago, it's definitely worth it. I don't know anyone who has this bag who wants to give it up completely. Now everyone who has it is going to say that it's way too heavy, but that's why I adjusted my expectations with this bag. I also went down a smaller size from what I initially wanted and I use it for day trips. It's perfect for that. I love it so much. I just personally would never purchase a keep all brand new unless I just wanted to just blow money <laughs> because I got a fabulous travel piece for amazing quality basically half off. <laughs> so guys, that's what I have to say about my Louis Vuitton Keep All 50B. I love this piece so much, but I just want you guys to know, you have to keep in mind how you are going to use this piece. This is one of those quintessential pieces for like a Louis Vuitton lover and collector like myself. Something I will ultimately keep in my collection forever and pass it down to whoever. I definitely say the older Louis Vuitton bags and luggage pieces have better quality, so that's the way to go. I will leave all the links to everything that I talked about down below. If you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below as well. I love you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!